If you're looking to burn fat and build muscle, this is the workout for you. This workout combines elements of strength and cardio all while standing. It's no repeat, and this is the type of workout that's gonna give you the afterburn after the workout. This workout can be done in the morning, at night, multiple times during the week to make you feel your best. And if you haven't yet, make sure you click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. And if you're looking for more content, maybe you wanna help me create a workout, make sure you click that join button below. Roll your shoulders back, brace your core. We're gonna start with a march. Start that march. Can't find a time where I can tell ya what I feel now. Eyes are lifted and core is lengthening up and in. I'm too afraid to be rejected. Pick up those knees a little bit in front of you. You do have an option if you want to jog. We got alternating knees. Reach up, pull down. Use your exhale as you pull that knee up. And I want long arms reaching up. Hamstring curls. Pull it in. Heels to your butt. I'm not the kind of person who is sentimental. This thing is making me Really open up those arms all the way out to that side. Sumo pulse for three, drop here, three, two, sweep up, drop again, press through your heels in that sumo pulse, dropping the butt, Gonna twist here. Lift up as you twist. My head tells me to stop, but there is nothing I can do. When I'm with you, I lose myself. I feel good. Jumping jacks. Tap or big jacks. Alright, just shake it out a little bit here. Do a little step touch. We are getting ready for a squat press. I'm gonna be using 10 pounds. are lifted, weight is up at the shoulders, feet are open, squat and press. Drop, punch it up. Press through your heels, especially when you're rising up from the bottom. Stopping the weight around chin area. Using the legs and the core to press that weight up.
deadlift, right leg. We're gonna face Carol, long spine. Roll the shoulders back. You're hinging down towards that shin. Wrist stay straight. I'm gonna start right now. Down, lift. And we're gonna stay in the work zone, softening the knee, or you can do a straight leg. And it's a single leg deadlift, so you kickstand your opposite leg. Length out from the crown of your head. Feel the push coming from the heel, the back of the leg. Eyes look out in front. Light foot on that left. Rise it up. We're switching sides. And again, we're gonna stay in that work zone. But know your body, what range it needs. I'm doing light left, heavy right. Roll the shoulders. Drop now. Down and lift. Let your arms be heavy. Best to look out in front of your mat. So that front leg is doing all the work. Works that back side. when you drop down to push the weights out. Feel that. Works that core. Stabilizer. Really extend out those arms. Curls. I'm going for my tens. Wide and narrow. Plant your feet with the softness in the knees. All right, I'm ready to start. Go wide. Go narrow, thumbs up. Load right in your core to help you move. right forward lunge, but you can always take it to a back. I'm gonna use one 10 pound weight. Start at the back of your mat, front leg is gonna step forward. We step, twist, come back. Great rotation. The further away the weight is, the harder it will be. And again, you can make it a back lunge with the same movement, the rotation. Sink in that lunge. Great 
Good job. All right, let's move to the other side of the mat. So get in that good position. Left leg is gonna step. Again, we're gonna rotate to you. I'm gonna start now, step. Rotate, come back. You gotta put those brakes on. Drop and pause low in that lunge. Oh, yes. I keep it to myself. I'm never gonna tell. Would you trust in me? I will never tell nobody. I keep it to myself. Try to press. I'm gonna go to my eights. We're hinging forward. Palms stay lifted. Start with the weights by your knees. Roll the shoulders back. Press back. Push back. They're quick. Keeping that wrist straight. If you want, you can drop the chest a little bit more. Feel a fire in the back of those arms. Small and tight up at the top, please. Dead row. I'm gonna go back to my 12s or my 10s. We're gonna drop our body down towards those knees, hinging with a flat back, and then rowing those elbows up. Drop down, pause, row, rise up. Palms face the back of the room. And we row wide. Pinch between the shoulder blades. Again, keeping the back flat. Knuckles down, wrist is straight. Eyes look out. My one pound, my 10 pound dumbbell, just one of them. Knees up with a figure eight. Dumbbell head goes down and then up, making that figure eight. Go on the down, feel the core engage. Fly. I'm gonna go fives. Keep these lifted out to the side. Weight will start down around those knees. Shoulders back. Pinkies lift. Up and crisscross the arms. Little pause at the top. Control the down. One more challenge, drop that chest parallel to the ground.
go back to my tens, calf raises. Your balance is a little off, maybe a hand on a chair. Open those feet up and ground yourself. Lift the heels, lower the heels. Roll the shoulders back, lengthen from the crown of your head. You want to tempo up? Let's go. Lift. Really lift up onto those tippy toes. A little boxing. I'm gonna use my eights. I'm gonna hinge that chest. Punch one arm forward and one arm back. Just the shoulders and the triceps here. Punch now. Reach. A little momentum here. One arm goes by your ear, the other one goes back by your hips. You can add a little pop in the legs a little bit where you bend and kind of come up. Makes it more fun. One or two weights in our moving squat. I'm gonna go for my tens. We step out and in. Out, in, out, then up. Out, in, to your right. Drop and stay low, and then rise up. Zip up the legs, right there. Booty out. Front load helps you get lower in your squats. Shoulder press starting at the top. I'm going to use my eights. You're doing great. Weight starts here, right arm, and then left arm. If you want a little Arnold press, you can drop in front, and then press it up. Soften your knees. And your core works when you're holding that weight up at the top. back with a fly. I'm gonna just use my fives because it's a long lever. Thumbs are up, hands are out wide. We tap back and fly and switch. If you want it to be more, you can make it a full lunge to the back. Again, paint these in. Thumbs are up. Ooh, right? Start around the hips and then come right up in front of the chest.
lateral lunge to the right. I'm gonna use one eight pound weight. You're gonna lunge, and then let that arm just kind of fly out to the side. Go now. Lunge, pop. My arm is staying straight. Option, you can row if you need to. Other arm can help you with your stability. Really push into your heel. On your right. Sit back into that butt. thing on that left side. Take a big inhale here. Are you ready? Lunge left. Fly. Because the tempo is just a little bit faster, you gotta use the core to help move with that little speed. Pop the leg up, or just lift a little bit. Ooh, yeah, great job. We're gonna stir the pot. I'm gonna go for my fives. In sumo squat position here. So we hold sumo, and then my palms are up. Circle the weight, forward, out, and around. Now, might feel easy, so what can you do? Drop low in the sumo. The reach doesn't have to be big. Push your knees open for me, and for you. Reverse that circle, out in. I like to let go of my waist, just rest it into my hand. We got a warrior three. Woo. We're gonna step it, stay in front here. So I got my right leg forward. I'm gonna kick back and then open up with a knee lift. Shoulders back. Kick back. Knee comes up. Hold. Kick back. Knee comes up. Or you could even just stay in kickbacks. But this is going to challenge your balance. Because we're moving with just one leg on the ground. the inside of the foot to help you stabilize. Keep the length in that midsection here. Great job. All right, spin it around. Ooh, got some sweat coming on here. All right, let's start that warrior three, kick it back. Knee comes up. Pay attention to your body right here. What do you have to do on this side to stabilize you? That length of warrior three.
Great job. I'm gonna go into my eights. We got two knees on the right, and then a shoulder press, left, right. Two knees, left, right. Two knees. Knee, knee, punch it up. Twist to the knee. It starts to get tough. Come on. Use your whole body to punch it up. Finish the reach. Woo! I'm gonna go for my tens, alternating rows. We're bent over. And we're gonna keep those hands facing one another. Turn a little bit. Drop. Pull it up, one, then the other. Now, look out in front, lengthen your spine, that whole waist. As one pulls up, the other one is pushing down. Stabilize the body. And drop the chest more. Spine here. I'm going to use just my eight. Weight starts up at the top. We're going to kick and slice it down. Weight is up. I'm going to start right now. Kick and slice and switch. So the longer lever, the harder it is. So we need a little bit less. Pull the weight in. On. Last move. job. Oh, you did amazing. Whew. Walk around, catch your breath, and we're going to come back to stretch, you guys. You're going to have your right leg forward, left leg back, and you're in lunge. So sink here. Move it into a hamstring stretch, so pull in the back foot, toes come up. Do that again, step back into lunge. This time if you want to reach the arms up, knee can go down, or it depends on the surface that you're on. Hamstring stretch again. Switch that leg, lunge it back. Just sink in the hips first. Hamstring stretch. Toes up, drop the chest. And drop into the lunge. This time you can reach those arms up. Back into that hamstring stretch. Step it into triangle. Right leg open up. Extended triangle, reach it forward. And then reverse this triangle, grab the wrist, look up. Take a deep breath here. 
release, turn the feet forward, and then just pivot them to the other side. Triangle. Extended triangle. So reaching past your ears. Lift it up. Reverse that triangle. And grab the wrist, look up. Straddle, face forward, drop the chest down and then grab your elbows. Start to sway your body side to side. Head is really heavy here. Close your eyes. Soften the knees, roll it up. Sumo squat here, reaching the right arm up and stretch. Do it again, sweep down, reach over. Give me one more of these. Now round forward and then open the chest up. So you dive through the arms. One more. Roll it back. Big inhale, reach it up. Reach it back. Pull it down into your heart and give me one last big inhale here. Let it go. You did amazing, yay for you. Thank you to my crew, Diane, thank you, Liza, Jen, Cheeky, and Carol. Woo! If you enjoyed that workout, do make sure you thumb it up, comment below, share this with a friend, and make sure if you haven't yet, I don't know why you aren't, hit that subscribe button, you guys. And we will see you at the next workout. Take care. Woo! Thank you, ladies. Go enjoy your day.